Hey guys, so to start off this weird looking witch tutorial, I'm first going to be putting some Vaseline on my brows so that the latex doesn't rip my brows off when I try to take the latex off my face. And I'm going to be using the Kryolan liquid latex and some cotton wool and I'm ripping some pieces of cotton wool off and just shaping them around my nose and brow area just to make a more thicker bridge, nose bridge really. And I'm doing the same thing um, around my under eye to create deep set hollow eyes and you really want to make sure that you take the le liquid latex with your finger well I use my finger you can always use a sponge and um, I like to use my finger to mold it around the latex so that the latex and the cotton wool does blend with my skin and um, this really helps it to you know kind of fade into the skin rather than just being stuck on your face and I did take some more and brought it down the brow a bit and made the brows look more arc. Here I'm just taking some tissue paper and I ripped them in random pieces and drenched them in liquid latex and randomly placed that on my skin and this really creates like nasty textured skin and this witch was kind of inspired by the last witch hunter movie and the witch in there had really like textured skin so this is why I'm doing this all over my face. I also took some cotton wool and drenched it into um, liquid latex again and I use this to mold my nose. You can get a witch nose prosthetic and stick that on your face but I found it quite easy to just use cotton wool and latex just to mold it into kind of like a witch nose so we are going to be using some face paints after so you want to make sure that it's really dry and I use the hair dryer just to speed up that process and um, it's kind of tacky once it's dry so I'm just setting that with powder I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Transparent and then I'm taking this Snazaroo face paint in dark brown and dabbing this all on the white areas so that it tones it down a bit so that when we put the green paint on it won't look different colours towards like compared to my skin colour and now I'm using the uh, Krylon Aquacolor paint in khaki green I believe and I'm just st stippling this all over my face and neck. I did cut up a, an old Real Technique sponge and dipped it in water, activated the paint with it and just like you know apply this all over my face. And you really want to make sure that the paint goes into the little crevices and that no white shows through. I'm using some dark green Snazaru face paint and stippling this all over my face just to add a bit more dimension and texture to my skin as well. I did take a face brush and went in with the paint to make sure that the white areas were all covered in the little crevices. I went back with the brown and this is why I started shading any deep areas so wherever I wanted to add shadow I just went in with the brown so really around the eyes and I kind of created cheekbones as well and kind of carved my face with this I also added some brown on my temples and really do you know like around the brow area just to make them look really deep set I did carve the nose as well with some black snazaru face paint and I just tried to make the nose look very thick and crooked with this and yeah it's just really easy you just have to kind of make, look, make your nose look much wider and I also did add some black really really close to the uh, creases of the eye as well wherever I added some brown I just went in with a bit of black in those areas as well another tip with this look is to make some frowny or angry um, faces and with the expression lines that show up on your face you want to just add some black face paint in those areas so I really did it around my forehead area and around my mouth just to create those frown lines and those forehead wrinkle lines. Next I took the Smashbox eyeshadow palette and I used the brown and black in there just to shadow around my eye area and also wherever I did uh, the brown and black face paints. I did add some brown face paint around my eyes as well but I ended up thinking it was too dark and I just went back in with the khaki face paint and lightened it up a bit and here I'm just adding um, some brown paint as well around my um, temples again and also around my eyes but this was just too much so I just went in again with the green and I also just took some uh, fresh scab and dabbed this on my mouth and ended up going in my mouth but I checked the box and it says it's safe to be in the mouth so it just made it the look look a bit more gory but that's the end of this makeup tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and um, let me know what other scary creepy looks you want to see and I will see you all in my next video bye guys